Welcome. Welcome. To a very special. To a very special, special ep- episode of <laughs> Stay, Stay at at home, home Kids. Wait, <laughs> that's something y'all do, you and Scott do. Is it? Me and Scott Ackerman? I thought y'all did that. I, I usually end up doing that with Lauren Lapkus. Oh, with Lauren. Yeah. You and Lauren. <laughs> well, welcome to a special episode a of Stay of Home Kids. Spillover. <laughs> <laughs> just a little spillover. <laughs> oh, it's special. Why, Paul? Well, I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. This is Stay of Homekins. I'm Paul F. Tompkins. I'm Janie Haddad Tompkins. We are, we're a married couple. We are wait, doing wait. a podcast during the quarantine. Yes. I'm an actor. He's, he's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the DJ. She's the rapper. <laughs> and tonight is it's our anniversary. Yes. It's our 10th wedding anniversary. It's Today, 10 years ago, mm-hmm. ten, wait, 10 years ago today. That sounds, the first way sounds like a ghost story. <laughs> it might be. Are we alive? Because I don't know oh anymore. Are we at that point already? <laughs> I'm, I am. Are we alive? I am because the heat advisory fell over Los Angeles and I have, I'm, it started my psychotic break, y'all. Yeah, we had in LA, we had the longest winter we've had in a long time where it felt like winter. And also mm. it, it, we had a lot of rain, which mm. helped us stay inside. Mm. And then all of a sudden that was fucking done. It was like, forget it. Yeah. Now it's summer. There's no, we didn't have a spring. <laughs> Nothing in the middle. <laughs> Nothing. No, we get like half an hour at, at 6 a.m. Oh, that's true. The spring hour. <laughs> yeah. The spring, 30 minutes of spring. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's our 10 year. I know it's weird. You guys know that I had my high school reunion, <laughs> like that I got married like a week this after. Sounds like an Instagram story. <laughs> hey, guys, I know you know that I had my reunion last week. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my 10 year reunion and you're like how did you get married when you were 17 <laughs> well i'm well not- i'm a creep <laughs> and i might have been I, teasing a little i was teaching I was, janie in high school i was teasing and the heart wants what it wants it was my 20 year high school what? reunion <laughs> you fucking You're still lying. Wait, you guys, wait, am I? I'm I'm not good at math. What? <laughs> okay, Barbie. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> Do you remember like, that? You might, can I, t- my mom, I was obsessed with Barbie. Mm-hmm. Obsessed. Right. right. My mom would not allow me to have a Barbie because she did not have a career. Right, Barbie had no discernible <laughs> means of income. But my godmother oh boy. found a loophole. And my very first Barbie, I will never forget, was ballerina Barbie mm-hmm. because she was a I, prima ballerina. She had a job, yeah. of course. She, earned, <laughs> she, she wasn't just doing bar method? No, <laughs> she she had like a, a costume. I think she had like this crown that wouldn't come off her head. It was like, <laughs> you know, like attached to her skull. Yes. And and her 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 legs were constantly in point, you know, position. Although, wait, her legs or her feet? Um, yeah, right. Her feet. <laughs> but I think all Barbies had feet like that. Didn't they did they? for the because they had high, high heels. heels. Yeah. But for her, it served another purpose. Do you know that rumor about Dolly Parton that she wore high heels for so long that it permanently altered the shape of I her foot? I don't think that's a, a that's a real thing that happens to women. Yes. It's a real okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. This is how barbaric high heels are. That if you constantly wear high heels, it shortens your like Achilles the tendon. Ten, something. I don't know. My brother's a physical therapist, so if I could just call him and ask him what that thing your is. Your Achilles foot meat gets shortened. <laughs> and then you can't fully flatten your feet. Like after years of something. Isn't it interesting that barbaric and Barbie have the same root word? I don't like to really put Barbie in that category (laughs) because she has come a long way, baby. And (laughs) like she's cool because like she can wear whatever 
you put on her and she's got like friends and a boyfriend. Oh, and I had the Barbie dream house. I mean, you don't understand. But now what I was Barbie. So, but this all came from your godmother. She started it. She started and it. And then your mom ended up relenting well, and buying stuff? I, I mean, it was done. Yeah. Like, the horse was out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was done. Like, probably if I had been born, like, in American girl times or whatever. Right. I mean, right, I just, right. like, loved dolls. Like, I did collect dolls. Mm-hmm. My grandmother, she would visit Arizona. She had a friend, like, in Arizona, and she'd always, like, bring back, like, Native American coloring books mm-hmm. and... I mean, they weren't like necessarily Native American coloring books. They were na- they were coloring books that taught you about Native American culture. Yeah. And I had like a collection of like Native American dolls, and they had like awesome like w- like braids and you know the whole like beaded this and fringe and stuff. Kind of looked like like Cher or something in her variety show i want to tell you something that i'm remembering first of all i remember my cousins who live next door i grew up i grew up next door to my cousins my mom's side my mom's sister yes can i explain when you say next door because i think it's like a really cool like philly thing so paul grew up in philly and a neighborhood called mount airy we've discussed it yes not the beautiful mount airy lodge (laughs) in the poconos and um They have, like, these houses there. In fact, my brother and sister-in-law live in one Mm -hmm. in Philly. They have these houses there called a double. Like, you might call it a duplex in your neck of the woods, but it's called... It's, it's called a double. Do you know what's funny is I don't remember growing up with any term for it, but they were two adjoining houses yeah there's like a there wall were big stone houses and we both had huge families we had six kids in my family <laughs> they had seven i know and he got to live a wall away yeah. from his cousin yes like i'm so jealous like how cool is that yeah it was neat. and they would like knock on the wall and yeah. stuff like we, code. We, we would all play together all the time we had a we had a, sh- we had a shared backyard that for all the time that i was growing up had no grass mm-hmm and then after all the kids had moved away from home, the grass came back to the yard. And I'd never seen it like that before. Because y'all had wild. run down the grass. Oh, all the, <laughs> we were never not back there. Um, but my cousin, so my girl cousins next door had, it was like a precursor to American Girl Dolls, where it was like Dolls of the World. Oh, well, uh, okay. I was going to guess. Cause there's a- they were like a little shorter than Barbie sized. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were dressed in native garb of various countries. Yeah, different. And they had eyes that opened and closed when you like laid them down, their eyes would close. Yes, I had dolls like that. I loved and it. I just flashed on this. I forgot about this. I don't know where this came from. I had <laughs> I had dolls like the same like a right, like the same size as like a Barbie doll. Dolls of <laughs> George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and Uncle Sam. <laughs> You had Barbies of what? I mean, I do remember my brother. I think he had an evil Knievel. Oh, evil Knievel, <laughs> of course. Yeah. There was a kid that I knew in my neighborhood. I can't remember his name, but he had the evil Knievel that rode a motorcycle and you would crank up. You would put you would put it in this sort of like, I don't know what you call it, but you would put it in this contraption. You would crank it. And then let it go. I think we, and then that's a, he had that. Yeah. And yeah, it yeah. would jump over like so our other toys. So jealous of it. Oh, okay. You're making me. Also the me... $6 million man doll, which you're... was amazing. Oh, I, we had that. We had that because I had bionic women. Sure. Mm-hmm. Now with the $6 million man doll, you could look through his bionic eye because he had a hole in the back And of she head. had like a thing on her arm that you could remove. You would peel up the yes. skin. Yeah. 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 And um, I very satisfying. Speaking, I had a I had um a Donnie and Marie doll, and they had like purple. Wow. Yeah, they had like purple like polyester outfits, mm-hmm. and um, I just like I just had so many good toys. Like we were kind of like lucky because we got it was just me and my brother, and and uh, we had, had kind of young parents, and they, you know, but like <laughs> I had a um, and they were divorced, so they com- they were competing they with divorced? each other. Well, that <laughs> happened later. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, cause this is reminding me too, that when, um, when my family blended, my stepbrother burned my Barbies 
under the house. That's right. And said under and, the house. Well, because the house was like up on oh, that's, stilts right, that's and right, Sullivan's that's right. Island. That's right. And so he's like Salem witch. He didn't like crawl under there like Sounder and. No, he ju- he just we were outside and he could and he burned them like Salem witch Barbie. Mm-hmm. That stopped the story, but like. <laughs> Yeah, so there was some remember, stuff that remember, was really aggressive. Yes, but do at you me. do you remember when they came out with a Barbie? This was like in the late eighties, maybe, and it was a talking Barbie. And one of the things that Barbie said was, "Math is hard." And then there was an I don't uproar. Know if I remember that, or if I just know it as a piece of like, well, I'm a little bit older than you are, darling. So. <laughs> I know because I got married right at, like a week after I graduated you high school, probably in diapers. <laughs> but she said math is hard, and the people were upset by it. But what's funny is... You know is, what? Math is hard, though. That's the th- what I think about <laughs> it now. I totally get why people were upset. But well, I, in my mind, I was like, math is hard. It's like the stereotype that women don't yes, gra- of gravitate course. towards of science. And, okay, I also had this awesome toy. I can think of like some other awesome toys. But like I had a floating... This is a bathtub toy. Mm-hmm. A floating Gilligan's <laughs> Island. Right. Like... That's awesome, right? Was it? What was the one that you couldn't play with outside? You had a floating toy that you had to play with. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I had um, it was it was the Barbie Dream House, but mm-hmm. they made me set it up in the bathtub in the guest bathroom. And why? <laughs> I don't. Why, you don't remember why, why I was made? Because I remember to, it was you, my grandmother. She, I remember you telling me that, but for some I, there was I a was reason allowed, though. You were that was the only place you were allowed to play with it. Yeah, I was allowed to play with it in the in the unused bathtub. This was your mom's mom. Yeah, she had some issues. What, <laughs> she some, <laughs> what mess she, did she think was going to be made by you playing with this plastic house? But you house? know what is messed up is like I love. Oh, tell me. <laughs> Playing in the, I was I was fine with sitting on like this. There was like a footstool. I sit, sit, sit <laughs> at the foot of the bathtub, and mm-hmm. like I sat like crouched down and was like eye level with my dr- Barbie Dream House. And but you were outside the tub. No, in the tub. Mm-hmm. I put the footstool. You put the sit. Barbie Dream House on the footstool. No, you're not following. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> I think that's apparent. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me that doesn't help. Okay, wait. I just have to say, there's a weird like pause in our podcast is because I can tell our battery is lowering. And if there's a moment where I have to change it, mm-hmm. we're going to handle it. But nothing untoward. So don't tell us our fucking business. <laughs> If we have to change a battery, we'll change it, okay? Fucking change. All right, here's what would happen. The Barbie dream house (laughs) would be in the bathtub. Yes. But it wouldn't be, like, facing out. It would be facing, like, the shower head. Mm -hmm. So you you put the Barbie dream house in the tub. On the tub floor. That's what I'm saying. Okay, (laughs) I'm confirming. I'm just trying to understand how you are eye level with the Barbie dream house if it is sitting on the floor of the tub. It's on the floor of the tub. Mm-hmm. It, it's not facing out into the bath room. It's yeah. facing like toward the like water spigots. Right. Like the, okay? Right. So then. The back of the house, presumably. What is the back of the house? <laughs> Is the back of the house? Where are you? Tell me where you I'm are. I'm going to tell you where I am, but I'm trying to. T- I need you to. I need you to visualize <laughs> where the dream house is. Which which part of the dream house is facing the shower head? The front of the house. The front house. of the house. Okay. The open part where the fourth wall is dropped. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. Then. Where the proscenium is. <laughs> Then I had a step stool mm-hmm. that I put in the floor of the tub. My back, as I sat on the step stool, 
was to the spigots. Mm -hmm. My front (laughs) was facing into the dream home. Right. So all of me and the dream home is contained in the tub. Okay. I never was confused (laughs) about (laughs) all of you being in the tub at the same time. My Mm. confusion was you said you were eye level with the dream home. Because when I would crouch on that step stool, I mean, I could really see in there. But why why did you need the step stool? Just to be comfortable? It's better for my hips and knees. (laughs) You don't want to get dysplasia. (laughs) Or was there a grade in this tub, like a a swimming pool? Mm, No. (laughs) You were in the deep end of the tub? (laughs) No. 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 Okay. So you would sit there because your grandmother didn't want Barbie's little fucking shoes and everything going all over the place. I guess. Yeah. She was <laughs> she was like maybe a little nuts. This was your mom's mom. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mom's mom. Mm-hmm. She was not nice to my mom. Yeah. Yeah. I was just talking with my siblings today mm. about my mom's mom. Uh-huh. Who apparently did not like children. <laughs> <laughs> she liked babies, <laughs> but we we did not have a fun right. grandma. I don't know. My grandma might have been fun because, you know, she let us watch TV all day. <laughs> oh, we did not. See, our grandma did not. I watched Days of Our Lives and oh. stuff. <laughs> we like. watched. My gra- I remember the only thing we ever watched with my grandmother at her home mm-hmm. was the Lawrence Welk show. Ugh. That was it. That she is, had, you're right. She was, out. she sucked. She had, she, <laughs> she sucked. sucked. She had no. a, she had a, a horrible couch that had a board under the cushions uh-uh. because it makes the couch last longer. <laughs> right. Then she had a, a huge uh, tree in her front yard that we were not allowed to play on. Like this was not a delicate tree. This was like a big sturdy tree. Right. You could argue maybe it was for safety. Who doesn't let a kid fucking play on a tree? Well, I mean, my grand, my mother's mother was mm-hmm. sort of like that. Like she wouldn't let us, yeah, you know, have fun. Well, we could play and do stuff, but like, there was a lot of like, the world is gonna. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I have like a terrible memory. This is weird and like traumatic, and I'm like now I'm sharing it on the air. <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. I mean, it's fine. It's just, I'm not, like, other people might have had a similar experience, but, like, okay, my granddad, he was, like, fun, and they hated each other, and they, yeah. like, fought. And he, I wish I had met him. Yeah, he was, like, so fun. But uh, he was, like, working out back, and me and my brother, we were little kids, like, little. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm going to sneeze in a minute. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> something to look forward to. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> it's the weather here. Um he was out back working and it was hot so he had his shirt off and then my brother and I were out there like pretending to work you know like <laughs> how <laughs> like little kids <laughs> and then my brother took his shirt off and then I took my shirt off too and we were out there playing and it was fun and da 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 and then my grandmother saw that I didn't have my shirt on and came out and made me not you know grandpa or my brother right. put my shirt on and I was like you know, I was like six. <laughs> <laughs> you never told me that before. Well, I don't think of it a lot. She passed away <sighs> when I was in the sixth grade. But yeah. like it, it was very like confusing. Yeah. And it felt like I had done something it wrong. It raises way more questions <laughs> than, than just solves allowing. anything. Yes. yes. But I don't now that I know that they hated each other and they like would <laughs> scream it like they'd have like crazy like George and Martha from Who's Afraid of Virginia Wolf fights. Mm. Like I wonder if it was more about him than me now. Like cuz I was only like 6. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Like you know, he was doing something wrong versus I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But that was that's messed up. Like when I think yeah, about it, it is. It's crazy. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I, my favorite story about your granddad that was, you never got to meet. I never got to meet because he died right before we started dating. Yeah. But he was like a like would you say like a Falstaffian figure? Like he was a 
He was a larger he, than life. Yeah, he drank like a fish. He loved he life. He smoked. Yeah, smoked so like much. a chimney. Drank like a fish. But and he, gambled. Oh my god, he'd like go. He gambled. He just liked to. He was bad. Yeah. You know. <laughs> he was. Yes. He, was. he like he like had fun being bad. Yeah. Yeah. He he was like yeah. And he, he wanted other people to like be a part of it, and yeah. so you never felt like bad doing it. Yeah. You're like okay. But he was a guy. He was like a guy, like that would grab you by the arm you know <laughs> he was he was a very he was like loud very hail fellow well met yes yeah. yes but your stepdad bill mm-hmm. had who is the sweetest he man in the away world four years ago miss him every day mm-hmm. um he had broken his collarbone i think he did okay i don't know totally know where the story's going but and bob <laughs> was talking to him and he kept like like grabbing his arm like you know what i mean bill (laughs) and like shaking him and bill finally had to say bob you're killing me you have to stop (laughs) Stop. (laughs) well like he was like so funny he um he had i don't know why he had like two he would drive these big like lincolns (laughs) of course he did and um you know they were like a big boat you know yeah and uh he had two. I think because he had like he was leasing one, and he was about to return the other lease, mm-hmm. and uh, he forgot that the other one was parked behind the one that he had in the garage, <laughs> and he backed into the one I guess that he was supposed to return or whatever, mm-hmm. and then so he took the one to the shop and was like, "Hey, can you fix this front end?" And he is like. And the guy was like, yeah. And he's like, whatever you charge me, double it. I got another one at home with the back. <laughs> the back of it's just like this. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <laughs> he was super fun. My grandmother used to make us. <laughs> at Christmas time, she would bake cookies. Mm-hmm. She would make these sugar cookies. And they were. No, butter cookies. Butter cookies. Okay. They were delicious. They were like in the shape of a a puffy star, like a fat star. Yeah. <laughs> and they were just pure butter. Was there like frosting on them too? No. They were like little there was little um uh uh sequins. No, like that sort of <laughs> glittery sprinkle stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's yes. like I don't know the what it's sugar, called. The sugar, the like colored sugar. Yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah, yeah. exactly. Red and green. <laughs> yeah. And they were so good. I think it's Demera sugar or something. It's like a name for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But we would have to help <laughs> bake them and package them. We didn't really have to help bake them. We had to help package them in the tins and everything. Yeah. And we couldn't eat them. It's so messed up, man. It's fucking crazy. That is like the most messed up. That's like, that's messed up. Yeah. And she would make tons of them to give to people. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so weird we never had weird food stuff like that Ugh. like we were allowed to basically like eat and drink whatever we wanted yeah we were we <laughs> were too to a certain extent i think we we like i remember soda being a delicacy like we would have soda uh-huh, not hit. we, got we would have soda on on like friday night would be pizza night are you kidding my mom would bake pizza would we make pizza at home so we drink coke like it was water. You drink your Coca Colas, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we'd be like, "I'm thirsty. It's hot out. I need a Coke." Like, and we just drank it. That, and I had cavities all the <laughs> time. Like, I was in the dentist's office all the time. You had crazy teeth stuff. I had so much teeth, bad teeth stuff. I mean, I still did. I had oral surgery just in November. <laughs> but your teeth are so nice. It's so weird. It's not. They're not. They're though. a lie. They're a lie because I sucked my thumb until I was eighteen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I th- always thought I was going to have to have braces, mm-hmm. but I didn't really about need it. it. <laughs> yeah. And, but my bite is like betraying, like it's, I have problems because I have a very messed up bite mm-hmm. and I like clench. And so I had to have like oral surgery on my gums because I clench so hard while I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. And you can't wear a guard for that because you clench through a guard. Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, I have I a mean, guard. I mean, you can. I have a guard. I just don't wear it. By the way, I have a guard, and I'll never wear it. I know. That, here's I'm the never, thing. ever going to wear it. I had one, too. I was given I was given one. <laughs> As a gift. <laughs> it was a graduation present. I was. I, nice I had to gift. get. What I, a nice <laughs> gift. <laughs> I had to oh, get one. Oh, the places you'll go <laughs> that are going to make you clench the fuck out of your teeth. 
<laughs> Wait until you get in the real world, kid. <laughs> this is what it's like. <laughs> yeah, so you had a guard. I had a guard, and I was really good about, I think you remember, I was really good about wearing it <laughs> yeah, for a while. Yeah. And then, man, that first night that you don't wear it, it's great. <laughs> And it's so like I stopped a, I stopped wearing it. It's not comfortable. I don't no, care what it's people not. say. It's, it's you're aware of it. Anyway, years Some people go might by. find it comfortable. Some people might be like desensitized to it. Yeah. I never got to that place. No, I mean it, it wasn't like it wasn't so uncomfortable that it kept me awake. It was more of being aware of it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that it was causing me distress or discomfort. Same. It was just like I have this thing in my mouth. Um I don't want to be reminded of my imperfections. <laughs> Who am I, like a Ford model? And I That's have why we like have no <laughs> mirrors in the house. Yeah. You get dressed in the dark. I um, kind of do. I don't really look in the mirror that much. I look in the mirror more than you do. That's I know. True. Why is that? I keep waiting for it to get better. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Maybe something happened overnight. I just, I just never like do it. No, you're not, you're not vain. You're you know, not a vain because person. Because I think, here's why, now that I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Now that we're talking about my grandmother. Barbie. No. <laughs> my grandmother and my mom, a little, like, they would yell at me if I thought I was pretty mm-hmm. or looked in the mirror too much. Wow. It was like, don't be vain. That's not, you know, the, like, don't be, like, it. you know, it was like wow. a bad quality. Yeah. So I was like scolded for it. I mean, it is. And it's also it's a it, it, vanity is is it's painful. Like my mom, yeah. my mom would be like, it's a prison. Yeah. She, like if I ever were like, just ask vanity Smurf. If I ever <laughs> like, I love the Smurfs, too. I had mm. I had all the Smurfs. I love Smurfette. But like, <laughs> what's not to love? <laughs> she was great. <laughs> I had, but um, like if I ever was like, oh, I look prettier. I didn't. My mom would be like. Your looks are gonna. Your looks are gonna fade. Wow! So you better like, you better like have something other than that. And guess what? She was right. Yeah, that's good advice. She was totally right yeah. because they're like I. It's yeah, it's gone. <laughs> that's not the bloom is off the road. Not, that's not true. What at all. I want to play Blanche on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> You just draw crow's feet on. I really or do. Draw the lines on your forehead. Don't you think I could? I'm having a psychotic break in the pandemic, <laughs> and I feel like I could put that to good use in some character work. Hey, use it. Sometimes if I, I, I'm about to go on stage, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I'm going to use this urgency. Oh, that reminds me of something from drama school, which is gross. I have. We'll friends. leave that okay. right there. <laughs> Anyway, that's about like childhood and trauma. I think we should. <laughs> oh, I know what other toy we had that was like the best. We had the Snoopy snow cone machine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't. Do my cousins have that? My cousins might have that. I my, remember it was very disappointing. Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> the snow cones were not good. We had so many things that we made stuff with, like. We had this, this, they were not good. We had the Snoopy Snow Cooking Machine. I had the Barbie Perfume Maker. <laughs> I've never even heard of that. You didn't have Barbie Perfume Maker? No. No, but not only, not only didn't I have it, I also never heard of it. They, okay, so like it came with like these weird like dehydrated sticks <laughs> that were like full of chemicals. Oh, wait, I did have this. And then you'd get like a cup of water, like you'd fill the bottle with like water and mm-hmm. then you'd stir the stick in it. And then it would like slowly melt like weird fainted like chemical flower smell in it. <laughs> and like to this day, I love perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice that I put on my cologne tonight? I didn't. I'm sorry. Because it's sweltering in here. Number one, it's sweltering in here. Number two, I did make us. I don't know why I had this idea to make a. To have a special pizza night. When we knew it was going to be <laughs> the hottest day I was like, I'm going to make these homemade pizzas. <laughs> and then it was like 90 degrees and I'm turning my oven to 500. <laughs> and I was like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> but you know what? Those pizzas you were, like those pizzas. Really but the, the pizza did overcut the garlic and the tomato like yeah, overcame. Yeah. 
I didn't put perfume on. I felt on like you. I was in an old country. That's nice that you put your cologne on. You have really nice cologne. Yes, Matt, our, our friend Matt Gorley gave me a very nice Matt. cologne one year. Yeah. Um, for which your is birthday not, or something. I th- It might have been for my 50th, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and it's really nice. And I get compliments on it all the it's time. It's really I'm good. not like a scent person. And also, it's hard to buy a scent for somebody yes, else. Yes, it is. Like, Absolutely. if you don't know their deal. Absolutely. And he, like, nailed it. He knocked it out of the park. They're, they're classy. Like, Matt and Amanda. Yeah, they have good taste. Yeah. Yeah. They're Mac like... Mac Amanda Lund. They're like... They'll never hear Elegant. <laughs> If you don't listen, you think? don't. T- I don't want anyone who's hearing this to, to tell, tell them. them that we talked about them. <laughs> I know we said good things. I don't care. All right, I'm, I know we all talk, we probably exhausted the toy topic, but I want to hear about more <laughs> toys <laughs> that you had. I had. Do the, you remember toys? Did you get? Yeah, the- absolutely. My first memory is a toy. Oh, my earliest what? memory. My earliest memory, and I don't know how old I was, but I can see this. And it was an old toy, too, that must have been like a from, you know, had been in the family or something. Was it a ventriloquist dummy? <laughs> no. Why? Is Why would you guess like, that? Because you're like saying you can see it and it's like watching you back. I didn't say you could see me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I have a, this is my I, flash yes. of memory. Is sitting at our dining table and in front of me is this uh, die-cast metal fire truck. And it's old. It's like the paint has been coming off. There's like just some flecks of red paint that are left on it. Lead paint. Oh, red paint. Red paint, which <laughs> was, was probably lead, lead paint. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, it was like a cast iron thing or something. And I, rem- I can see it in my mind, and I have a feeling of affection towards it when I think of that. Memory. Where do you think it is? Where it happened to oh it? Oh, my God. It's long gone. Long gone. Like, I don't remember it from... That's the only memory I have of it. Like, I don't remember it from later when I was old enough to have... To form memories. hmm But that's the earliest thing that I can remember. Paul has grand nieces and grand nephews. Yes. I have nieces and nephews <laughs> that have children. So I'm a great uncle. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Well, okay, so now let's let's talk a little bit about ten years ago today. I was seeing how today is the exact opposite <laughs> of ten years ago. Very true. Very true. No friends around us, not allowed. Mm-hmm. Uh, no prospects. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the future is uncertain. Doesn't feel like <laughs> we're gonna, you know, conquer anything. Let's not go that far. <laughs> and I was like, also was thinking how when we were getting married, how no one, like, if anyone had said to us ten years ago, <laughs> like, oh, you guys are gonna have like a fun life, and you know, marriage is this and that, you. You might in 10 years be in a worldwide pandemic (laughs) where you're not allowed to go out or work. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, if you sneeze on someone, you could kill them. And (laughs) the person in charge of the pandemic doesn't care if you die. Yeah. No, that would have been unbelievable. And there will be be people begging to get sick. (laughs) Oh yeah, that's happening now, right? But that, but no one said that to us. We had a no. lovely day. The fu- okay, so our wedding was like maybe the funnest thing in the universe, and we're not being biased because other people have like begged us to have. It was one wedding. of those. It was one of those good weddings. We had a good wedding in in on Sullivan's Island, in South Carolina. A lot of our friends and family going it there for like the a first crazy time. Crazy party. It was like. Yeah. It wasn't like a crazy sloppy party, although there was some stuff going on. <laughs> Hey, it's a wedding, Especially man. at the end. That always happens. With my bridesmaids. Yes. But, you know. <laughs> so it's, I probably shouldn't tell that either. No, you shouldn't. Okay. <laughs> at least telling some <laughs> tales out of school. But everyone was just like so happy and it was like so. It was joyous. Yeah. And the food was great. Yeah. 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 Should we plug the caterer, Clark Catering? Why not? They 
th- we had, um, although we did have boiled peanuts, and I heard that someone didn't know what they were and ate the whole shell, <laughs> ate like a whole peanut shell. But do you know that people do that anyway? Well, there's with regular insane. peanuts. Insane. Well, you know, you know what? I know of people or heard tell of people who don't peel shrimp. Oh, that's come they on. They eat the shrimp with come the shell on. on it. Why don't you just eat a crab that way then? <laughs> I don't know, but it's gross, right? And also, God. like, why? Like, why? What is this, Splash? It is. It's like, <laughs> uh, like maybe they are aliens. Oh, that's a good theory. I actually wondered, I know I'm not allowed to talk about him, but the guy who is the president right now, I, like, would not be scared, scared, surprised, if he was an alien. That's an interesting theory, and I'm sure there's someone else... That believes that. I bet you're not alone. In no, I'm that. starting to believe it. I wouldn't be. I mean, honestly, it would be because a relief. Because he doesn't talk like a normal. No. Like, let's let's not. I'm not allowed, y'all. Let's Sorry. Not. <laughs> Whew, okay. Well, Happy anniversary to me. I, <laughs> that's how mean I am. That I will, on like, our anniversary, I will let you talk about the deranged president. All right. But like, if you eat a shrimp without a shell, like that's an alien move. Yeah, for sure. If you eat boiled peanut in the shell, who does that? Where have you heard of that? No, I've heard of people not eating boiled peanuts in the shell, regular peanuts in the shell. And in fact, I saw someone do it right in front of me. Who? Someone you know? Yes, it's our friend David Reese. What? We were just on his podcast, Election Profit Makers. Oh, yes. We got to plug our episode. That just came out earlier this week, but it's this week's episode of Election Profit Makers. It's um, David Reese, John Kimball, and Starley Kine. They go on the site, <laughs> site called like gambling predictit.org. Site. Gambling site. Yeah, it's a gambling site. And you gamble on like <laughs> stock market style. You you invest in um, the outcomes of elections, but also weird things like will the president tweet 200 times between this date and this date? You know, like yes. you can you can it's anything you can gamble on anything. And it's a really but it's a really enjoyable podcast. And they talk a little bit about that but mostly they just kind of shoot the shit about politics and it's uh and it's great i really am a big fan of the podcast and we it's run really it, together. it was really fun but david and i i was in I new didn't york know he ate a peanut with a shell on it i was in new york to work on the tv show blind spot a few years ago and i had some days off and so i went to some baseball games which was great i, go, I went to a yankees game i went to two mets games mm. um and David came with me to the second Mets game that I went to, which was a night game that ended up getting rained out. Hardly anybody was there because it kind of started ra- raining immediately. That's so miserable in New York. Yeah, and it was the Mets versus the Phillies. I didn't get to see oh, the man. Phillies play. So we were sitting there, and he got peanuts. And he, I think he was discovering this. I don't think he had done it yet. But he had heard about people eating peanuts whole. And then he did it in front of me. And it was wild to he watch. didn't like it though he seemed to like it he seemed to like it he like claimed, he was he like, claimed to like it this is he are you sure he wasn't like putting you on look he's a trickster <laughs> he's like loki <laughs> he's mischievous but it, i believe that he believed he enjoyed this but david if you're listening let me know please don't tell matt and amanda that we talked about them <laughs> I don't know what this ploy is. Are you trying to get Matt and Amanda to get mad at us? <laughs> no, the opposite. Oh, okay. Okay. Well. But we had a wonderful wedding. We did. It's been a wonderful 10 years. It has. The house we got married in no longer belongs to my family friend that let us get married there. That's right. We lucked out that as soon as we got engaged. I think we did mention that on the podcast. Yeah. That I mean, we, that is... I, every time I think about that, it's huge because we know a lot of people who got married. And I wouldn't let anyone. That's such a huge hassle. Even come over to my house. Oh fuck me! <laughs> let alone have a party. Keep in it. out. We have a sign on the door. <laughs> and then, and then, like, what else happened with our wedding, other than just like so much fun, food, and dancing and stuff? I mean, that was it. It was. It was people like, making toast. That was like the yeah, funniest part. It was this yeah, spot yeah. like it was like an open micy? Yeah. Just happened sort of spontaneously. And people said wonderful things. Yeah. My brother in law took video. I've never seen that video. Have you ever? He sat there with a camcorder. But have you ever spoken to him about it? No, I can't do it. 
Am I allowed? Am I allowed to talk about when we went to Ireland and how he would say something? Over oh, where's the McDonald's? <laughs> but he has like kind of a Philly. Where's the McDonald's? <laughs> Doesn't he say it like that? <laughs> where's the McDonald's? Hey. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's yeah, the McDonald's? Yeah. How do you say it in Philly? Where's the McDonald's? Where's the McDonald's? Where's the McDonald's at? Hey, where's the McDonald's at? <laughs> Paul cannot get me to do a Philly accent to save his life. I, he just tries so hard, and I'm I like, know. I can't do it. It's Where's hard. Where's the McDonald's at? It. Coke and a hoagie. Just have a Coke and a hoagie. Having a Coke home. and a water ice. Where's the McDonald's? Get a water ice. Where's the McDonald's at? Yo, Mike, that's quite a nice bike. Yo, Mike, that's quite a nice bike. Yo, where's the McDonald's at? <laughs> it always, it always tips over into <laughs> Fargo at the end. Yo, oh, I can do that. Yeah, I'm good at that one. Yeah, I can do like that Midwest. Well, I have cousins from Minnesota, you know. Yes, I do. We've we've yes. spent much time with them. Yes. Wonderful people. Yes. Minnesota's is a great town, Minnesota. Yes, it the is. twin I love the twin uh, cities. Love, love, love. Except the weather in the winter. Not for me. But it's not for anyone. I don't those people <laughs> yeah, are no, insane. They, they, love the twin cities. They're populated by insane people. Well, I, have we covered everything? There's the virus, there's our anniversary, there's our <laughs> child our Chi- uh, our child-free lifestyle, which Trump, is great. Ch- child-free by choice. <laughs> our our trauma-filled childhood. <laughs> I think that, yeah, we covered everything. Um, Can we have a little toast? If you're way suffering from trauma from your childhood, you really should work on healing it. That is something I've been doing the past two years. and it's That's good been, advice. Therapy is good. Yeah, therapy. We, we both endorse it. I, I mean, even if you can't do therapy, there's like books and resources, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's, there's, f- yes. It's not your fault is my, is what I learned. <laughs> well, I learned that from Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> oh, you did? Are we making a toast? Let's make a toast. Here's to <sighs> 10 more years. Okay. <laughs> uh, why not? We're going to take this 10 years at a time. <laughs> 10 years at a time. Right. I love you. I love you. Satisfying. Mm. Mm. I have an idea. Yes. So say there's a vaccine in like a couple weeks. <laughs> and, and we get out of here. Yeah. We get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And then we have to, you know, we have to put a pin in our podcast until the flare up. Until the <laughs> next. Yeah. Until until the, the, <laughs> that's right. The second round. When it comes back. Well, the second wave. <laughs> the worst second wave. And so we put it, we put it on a, we put it on a shelf. 10 years from today, mm-hmm. we should have. Like a commemorative episode, absolutely of Stay Up Homekins. No I'm matter what happens, totally on board. Let's do it. If we're both still alive, and <sighs> we both can it's still just talk, ten years. <laughs> when we both can still talk, because I could have an accent uh, if I can still. Let's not run talk through all the walk. scenarios. I don't like to tempt fate. Like I like to un- like recognize that anything like your life can change in an instant. If there's one thing I've learned from Lifetime movies, <laughs> <laughs> is that your life can change in an instant. I feel like the big lesson from Lifetime movies is don't get married. <laughs> and don't go into parking garages. Well, for sure. <laughs> well, honey, it, every everyone you've heard it called the Pussy in Peril channel, right? Yes. <laughs> now, oh, you do, want me to end? Explicit. Rating. Paul's gonna make me like we we said the f word a bunch of what times. What about? I, I know I'm kidding around. Uh, What, what am I going to make you do? I don't know. What are you going to no, make me do? You said Paul's going to make me. And then what? Oh, edit that out. <laughs> no, man. This is that. We're not about that. It That's all stays true. in. We're raw and unfiltered. Yeah, man. Do you think Bill Maher listens to our podcast? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. All right. We appreciate you listening to us. Um, thank you for being with us on our anniversary. You can follow us on Instagram Stay and at Twitter at Stay of Homekins. You can g- Gmail us. Gmail us? <laughs> yeah, man. I like it. Um, at Stay of shoot, Home- us, shoot us a Gmail. <laughs> we'll see you in the Google Hangout. <laughs> we won't. But thank you for celebrating our anniversary with thank us. Thank you, you for didn't even being... know that was going to happen. Yeah, we needed it because we're not allowed to be with friends in our lives. We had big plans. We should have talked about that. The big plans we had for. 
Well, you were making some crazy big oh, I plan. Had crazy big plans. And I, I was like, hey, let's go to Santa Barbara for the weekend or whatever. And I was like, fuck no. And you were like, no, what if? And then you were like, we have a revolving door party. And it was like this crazy thing. And I was like, okay. For the record. Paul's and into we'll, big grand. He's into the thing. I like grand gestures. He's for really the, For the record, and we'll end it here. I never suggested <laughs> a revolving door party. There was something where I was like, uh-huh, okay. Mm. Yeah, everything I said. It. Uh-uh, not everything you said. What was the one thing you liked? This is where look at this is unraveling. We're doing this in front of people. I don't know. Come on, I don't we know if we're going to make out. it past the pandemic. <laughs> All right, when thank people, you. When people get divorced after like forty years, that's like such a sad. Yes, glad you interjected that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for listening, everybody. And remember, when people get divorced after forty years of marriage, it's sad. <laughs> We will see you again next week. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay Stay inside. inside.